All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five books that every weightlifter, every bodybuilder must read. These are must read books, guys. So number one, we're gonna start with Strength Training Anatomy. Now this is a great book um, just for breaking down the basic muscle groups. Um, for example, I'll open it up here. So it's gonna show you guys the different exercises you can do, and it's gonna highlight the muscles that those exercises target. So this is a great beginner book because it really breaks down the muscle groups. It really gives you guys a good uh, anatomical idea of where the muscles are located. Um, it just gives you guys some good context and perspective when you're training. Um, so you kind of know what you're working and how your, uh, how your own anatomy really works. So Strength Training Anatomy, it's a really good book and it's a really cheap book too. I believe I paid like seven bucks for this on Amazon. So this is a great book. It's definitely, it's definitely well worth the money. So the next book is gonna be Starting Strength by Mark Ripto. Now this book's a little bit more advanced than Strength Training Anatomy. Um, this book really guides you through the basic movements of like the clean and jerk, the squat. It kind of shows you the mechanics of the movements, um, how they work and how to better adjust your form um, so you can maximize how you perform these movements. So it's gonna break down the squat for you guys. Let me see if I can find you guys a good diagram. It's gonna talk about lifting gear. It's gonna talk about um, knee wraps, different kinds of shoes you can wear different kinds of shirts you can wear, just different things that are gonna give you an edge um, when weightlifting. It talks about how this stuff applies to sports. Um, like I said, all the mechanics. It even breaks down, um, let's see if I can get that to focus. It even breaks down how to hold your hand um, when you're holding onto a bar, the best way to grip the bar, um, just to maximize that grip strength. So it's got all kinds of really great information here. So I highly recommend this. You know. It breaks down the, even the military press, just the proper, just the way to have your spine aligned for the military press. This is just a great, great book. It breaks down the deadlift. So this book I highly recommend. I believe this book is a little bit more expensive than uh, Strength Training Anatomy. I think this book might be like 25, 30 bucks, but I still, I highly recommend this book. All right, so even more advanced than the starting strength book than the starting strength book is the West Side Barbell Book of Methods. This book is way more expensive than that one. Um, this is about fifty dollars, forty-five dollars for this book. Now, this book not only breaks down um, specifically into the powerlifting movements, it gives you guys programming methods on how to program those powerlifting workouts. So it kind of gives you the mechanics of the powerlifting lifts, but then it breaks those down even further on how to set up a weightlifting schedule, a weightlifting program to maximize um, how you perform those lifts and how many days a week and all that kind of good stuff. It tells you guys, you know, good accessory movements for the bench press or the deadlift. It talks about um, powerlifting and gear talks about raw power lifting, uh, talks about lifting with bands, lifting with chains, floor presses, um, talks about five by five, five, three, one, conjugate method, max effort, dynamic effort, all that stuff is in this book. I highly recommend this book. You can get this on westsidebarbell.com or you can get it on Amazon. Like I said, I believe it's about 50 bucks. Now this is a book that most of you guys probably do have. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. I got this on Amazon as well. Um, this is a great book. I actually have two copies of it. Um, this is, you know, it's got photos on like every page, full, full page, you know, black and white classic photos. And this just breaks down all the basic bodybuilding movements and it shows pictures of all the, all the great classic bodybuilders performing all these movements. Um, so this is just an excellent book to have. I think it's like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. And it's like, it's like a thousand pages long, like 800, 900 pages. I actually have the receipt for it here. I paid 16 bucks for this at half price books. So it's, it's a pretty good deal for an 800 page book. And like I said, you know, it's got these great pictures on every page. Um, all these classic black and white photos of Arnold. It's... So yeah, man, this is a great book. I highly recommend it for the for the novice, for the advanced lifter, for anyone. It really breaks down a lot of different exercises. And for me, I've been lifting for 10 years. I can look through this book and find exercises that I still have never thought of doing. And I can incorporate those into my, uh, into my training system when I start to plateau. So Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of, Bo of Modern Bodybuilding. This is the new version. I think there is an older version, the new Encyclopedia of Modern, Modern Bodybuilding. Great book, fully illustrated version. And finally, I believe this is like an improvement upon Arnold's book. 
This is the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. This is not by Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is by Robert Kennedy. The complete A to Z book on uh, muscle building. So this is going to have full color photos. It's going to have more current uh, black, not black and white, but color photos. So these are going to be a lot of uh, compilations from like Flex Magazine. Uh, Robert Kennedy was a publisher that worked with Flex Magazine in a lot of these magazines. So he probably owns the rights to a lot of these um, photo shoots that they did for the magazines and he owns the workouts that they published in the magazine. So there's a lot of cool stuff in this book. Um, a lot of full color stuff, a lot of more current stuff. I mean, there's Phil Heath right there. Um, so this book probably cost me about 10 bucks because it doesn't have the cover on it. So I'm guessing I got it at half price books and got it for probably about 10 bucks because missing the cover. But those are the five books that every bodybuilder, every weightlifter should have. Again, I'll go through them. Strength Training Anatomy, Starting Strength, The West Side Barbell Book of Methods, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding, and of course, the complete A to Z Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.